A new study, authored by microbiologist Yuki Morono, wanted to understand what life is like in the ancient sediments. In a very old environment beneath the South Pacific gyre, where nutrients and food were very limited. Our main question was whether the life can exist at such a very nutrient-limited environment. We were tackling how low the microbes can sustain their life in almost absence of their food. The group was composed of scientists from Japan Agency for Marine Earth Science and Technology, or JAMS Tech, the URI Graduate School of Oceanography, the National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology, and the Kochi University and Marine Works Japan. Ten years ago, during the Expedition 329 to the South Pacific Gyre, on board the research drillship Yoides Resolution, the team drilled numerous sediment cores 100 meters below the sea floor and nearly 6,000 meters below the part of the ocean with the lowest productivity and fewest nutrients available to fuel the marine food web. The scientists found that oxygen was present in all of the cores, suggesting that if sediment accumulates slowly on the sea floor at a rate of no more than a meter or two every million year, oxygen will penetrate all the way from the sea floor to the basement. Such conditions make it possible for aerobic microorganisms to survive for geological timescales of millions of years. With fine-tuned laboratory procedures, the scientists, led by Morono, incubated sediment samples to coax their microbes to grow. The results demonstrated that rather than being fossilized remains of life, the microbes in the sediment had survived. What we found was that life extends all the way from the seafloor to the underlying rocky basement. And what Yuki's paper now shows is that those organisms are not only alive in the deepest, oldest sediment, but they're capable of growing and dividing. What the team tested specifically was feeding the microbes with their food and looking at their ability to incorporate food into their cell bodies. One of the surprising stuff is that up to 99.1% of the microbes could retain their activity to incorporate added substrate, meaning that they were alive and they kept their life for as long as 100 million years. The most exciting part of this study is that it basically shows that there's no limit to life in the old sediment of Earth's ocean. That, that in the oldest sediment we've drilled, with the least amount of food, there's still living organisms and they can come back to the world and grow and multiply. Nina Armilio, you and TV, News and Rescue, we serve the people, we give glory to God. <laughs>